Well, hello. Today I'm talking about the classical montage. A movie, any kind of movie, be it um, fiction, uh, documentary, feature, or short, is made of sequences, shots, and scenes that are assembled to create a certain meaning and to well communicate with the audience. Montage is also referred to by some people as editing. But before dealing with the definition of the montage, let us first know about three important words because they are very crucial in the process of editing or montage. What is the shot, the scene, and the sequence? The shot is the smallest unit of a movie. Uh, it runs for an uninterrupted period of time since it starts when the camera uh, starts rolling and it ends up when the camera stops. Uh, a scene is made up of uh, several uh, scenes. For example, uh, if we shoot or film two uh, persons talking to each other, then we can opt for a first close up shots on the first person and then a second close up shot on the second person, and we can add. Uh, a master shot uh, that gathers the, the two persons all together. So in this case, the scene is uh, made up of uh, three main uh, shots. Of course, it can uh, deal with more or less. It depends on the filmmaker's choice. The sequence. The sequence is made uh, or consists of uh, several scenes uh, to create a kind of a narrative. Uh, unit. For example, uh, a person uh, goes from his or her house to his or her office. So uh, all the scenes uh, that constructs in this idea of changing uh, the space are involved in this uh, narrative uh, uh, unit. Though I don't like to compare the cinematic work uh, with the uh, narrative one, let us say that the shot is like a sentence and the um, uh, scene is like a paragraph and the uh, sequence is like a chapter. Montage is the cornerstone of the uh, cinematic uh, process of filmmaking because it renders the physical time into a filmic one. Uh, for example, uh, if uh, we are filming someone who is eating the process, the real process of eating may take, for example, 15 minutes, but uh, thanks to, to editing or montage, it is reduced to 30 seconds. Of course, filmmakers haven't reached this level without a long experience. Uh, so first, in uh, 19 or 1899, uh, the period when uh, there was a famous filmmaker wh whose name is uh, uh, George Mealy, uh, for example, this filmmaker used to uh, imitate the theatrical techniques because uh, he believed that uh, without basing his cinematic work on the theatrical uh, uh, techniques, he would play Duke Paradise with uh, people's understanding to his uh, work. So this is why, for example, he imitates the way uh, the curtain uh, is closed the theatrical curtain closure uh, by uh, opting for the dissolve. The dissolve technique is when you uh, you see um, an, an image that goes and in the same time another image that uh, counts. In 1902, filmmakers such as Griffith tried to detach the cinematic uh, montage techniques from the theatrical ones. If we take, for example, the example of uh, um, Griffith, and of course there are many other filmmakers, but Griffith is very famous in our context. Uh, he distinguishes between the, the exterior scenes and the uh, in interior ones. Uh, and uh, within this context, the scene uh, starts uh, referring to one uh, spatial and temporal uh, unit. So if the event changes from interior to exterior, for example, then the, the, the scene has to change also. Uh, 
uh, and this creates the notion of continuity. Thanks so much. Griffith creates also the movement directions to make the montage more efficient. Uh, for example, uh, in his movie The Birth of the Nation, uh, he uh, constructs uh, two contradictory movements. One that is related to the Ku Klux Klan and the other one uh, that relates that is related to the African Americans. So, in their battles, uh, these contradictory movements uh, shows the conflicts between uh, the uh, Ku Klux Klan and the African Americans. So, with the creation of the movement directions, of course, uh, it helps to raise the tension of the conflicts, and the aim was to attract the audience. Of course we cannot talk about all the uh, characteristics of the classical uh, montage uh, because this is just one idea about cinema uh, but this is the, the main uh, characteristic of this uh, montage. Uh, to recapitulate, this way of montage is linear uh, it guarantees a kind of continuity, uh, uh, heroism, uh, and it aims at attracting uh, the viewer's attention. Thank you very much.